I'm Theo Byron, and I'm a Colorado maker. This is my video, step by step, of the process I took to make this reclaimed oak industrial coffee table. If you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and look me up at blockfurniture.com. Please enjoy. I've done most of the work where I've uh, cleaned up the edges, squared, got them to length, um, got them pretty much ready just to clamp and leave set for several hours. What I'm doing in this step is chamfering the inside corners of the frame so that uh, when I do my weld, it just has a, a deeper penetration and it doesn't build up so much. Putting the face down because I'm going to work with the angle on the on the back where it's going to collar the. The, uh, frame. I've created a little tiny chamfer where I'm going to put the weld uh, just so it's structurally sound. So I've attached two two inch uh, square angle iron to flatten out the outsides and then I've clamped the ends down. And Okay, we got our corners welded up flat. Rounded bottom more for aesthetic than function because the metal would have been covered by the wheel. So I'm getting ready to weld the uh, caster base onto the leg of the table and I've set up a quick little jig, a um, piece of like angle iron to square the, the leg and then I've taken two of the little pieces of the angle iron that I cut off just to kind of evenly space it out.
Okay, number four, tacked up, pretty square. There are gonna be sleeves that come down to hold the shelf. So I wanna bring this diameter up a little closer to this diameter, um, just aesthetically. Um, I happen to have this little furniture foot that has a pretty small diameter hole in the center that's really close to the radius I did the outside. We'll just do a little center hole with the drill and then go back uh, and do all of them. So I'm just going to mark it. I'm just going to do uh, MIG weld on the end, make it look like kind of a button, not quite grind it flat so there's a, just a little little nub and I think it's going to make a great axle. In. So I'm just going to do a little round. So I'm setting up the top uh, surface, tabletop, and what I've done is I've gone in and notched out the upper uh, arm so that it, it doesn't stick out quite as much on the outside. I like the detail of coming up over the edge, but I didn't want it to be this big chunky thing. Get my, my other line where I'd want to remove that piece with a slight radius uh, in so that that pipe will actually drop in and that's going to be my radius. Angle grinder cut on kind of a triangle and then I buzz the inside line and so I don't cut too deep into the into the metal because there isn't a lot of structure right there um, I just scored it dry fit on uh, the corners double checked this it's square the top shelf is measured correctly to the bottom one all the the top four corners of the table should be the exact same height uh, wheels are in line These are really pretty easy access welds. A little closer up. Um, pretty decent. Full, definitely full wraparound weld. Perfect. Around that. Bluing on there. It's going to be pretty darn nice.